from the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, located in the center of Foxborough, Massachusetts, you are watching Around Foxborough. Hello and welcome to Around Foxborough, the show where we talk about the people, places, and things that make Foxborough the gem of Norfolk County. My name is Mark Rivard and I'm pleased to have as my guest today, Andrew Osborne. Welcome, Hi. Andrew. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So let's talk about the 48-hour film project. So tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> well, I started out, uh, this is actually the 20th year of the wow. uh, 48-hour film project, which started uh, 20 years ago in Washington, D.C. And since then, it's expanded out uh, all across America uh, and all across the world. I mean, there's over 100 cities uh, that host 48-hour filmmaking weekends, and Boston's been doing it since 2003. And uh, when I started out, when I first heard about it, I went in and uh, had a team of my own to create a four to seven minute film in 48 hours. And, and it's kind of like, uh, they call it filmmaking is sport because it's kind of the closest <laughs> you can get to being uh, on a reality TV show and having all that uh, excitement and energy and attention because you, uh, on a Friday night uh, when it's running, uh, you get a, a character, a line of dialogue, and a prop that every movie has to use. And then every team gets their own genre. Uh, and then at seven o'clock on Friday night, you're off and you can make your film right up to the last second on 7.30 uh, p.m. on the following Sunday. You have 48 hours. And if you're late, you're out, but they still screen the film. And if you're on time, then local judges, you know, watch the films and decide what's the best movie uh, of the given city. And if you are one of the best, then you compete with other filmmakers around the world for uh, uh, prizes and a chance to uh, screen at the Cannes Film Festival. So it's pretty, uh, pretty fun and fast paced and exciting. Well, that's great. So in 48 hours. So, you, so if I understand this correctly, you get like one prop, one line of dialogue and what was the third one? Oh, and a character. And a character. And yeah. then from that, you build your film around that in the way you want and everybody gets exactly. the same one. Wow. And you have you have 48 hours to put it together. Yeah. And in addition to and everything has to be you know original. And in addition to um, the best film, uh, there are also all these other prizes that get awarded. Like, for instance, you know, which team uses their line of dialogue the best, you know, which team uses their genre the best. So, you know, if you're making a, a horror movie you know, it could be really well made and it could be very funny, but, you know, is it really scary? You know, uh, uh, it can be, and as I said, like, as long as you finish something, it will screen. That's the other nice thing about it, that it goes from your a thought in your head to being watched with a bunch of other people uh, in just 48 hours. Well, 48 hours to finish the film, and then a week or two later, you actually get to watch uh, films from people uh, from all around uh, Massachusetts. And now that we've been online the past two years, uh, we've got people, this year we had somebody sending in a film from uh, California. <laughs> and usually it's it's just Boston or, or Massachusetts uh, or even New England filmmakers. And we usually would have a live screening at the Somerville Theater. Uh, but because of the pandemic, uh, of course, the Somerville Theater's closed. Hopefully, fingers crossed, opening in the fall. But since we're a May event in Boston, uh, the past two years, we've done it virtually. And now um, we completed our uh, filmmaking weekend, uh, May 7th through 9th. And so we just had the audience awards announced uh, where, uh, let's see, a week after the films were made, we screened them online, and then uh, people voted online for their favorite films, and those just got announced. And now uh, judges are are uh, looking at the films, including Joyce Cole Haywick, who's a longtime uh, New England film yeah. critic. And um, so when the judges pick the uh, uh, their awards, then we will have a screening of all the best uh, out of the Boston teams of 2021, or at least the most awarded teams, according to the judges. Uh, and that screening will be June 19th at 7 p.m. And you can just watch it from the comfort of home 
on your computer and you can get tickets at 2021 Boston 48 hour film project.com. Wow. That sounds like a mouthful, but it it is a mouthful. We'll we'll put it up on the screen for everybody (laughs) at home. So they know. (laughs) So, so is there a certain time limit for your film? Like it, does it have to be a certain run a certain length or can it be a really extremely short film as long as it gets everything across? Yeah, the minimum is four minutes long and the maximum is seven minutes long. And then you get like a minute of uh, credits, too. So really, you could go eight minutes uh, if you have like a seven minute movie and then one minute of uh, credits. But if you go a second over, you get disqualified and you're still, you know, you can still screen and you're still eligible for an audience award. But if yeah, if you sort of deviate from the rules. If you don't have the line of dialogue, if you don't have the character, then you, uh, you know, you're you're probably not going to win uh, the best of because you get to stick within within the rules. Wow, that's that's really intense, and I it's I would intense. imagine that a lot of it, a lot of the time in that forty eight hours is probably editing. <laughs> <laughs> Most teams usually it's uh, spent devote Sunday to post production because uh, you know like if you're still filming on Sunday then you're probably going to be racing the deadline. Uh, usually uh, teams will get their uh, the stuff that has to be in the movie and then Friday night they all get together and write the script so that they can just hit the ground running Saturday and just film all day and then edit on Sunday. And I know one team. Uh, was talking about because in addition to screening the movies we also have q and a's with the filmmakers afterwards oh, wow. and i know somebody was talking about like how they were up till 3 a.m writing the script then they got up at like 5 or 6 a.m to start shooting so you don't get a lot of uh sleep uh sometimes when you're doing it but you know you can catch up and sleep later so so you're saying there's a lot of caffeine involved is that what you're There's saying? A lot of caffeine, a lot of <laughs> adrenaline, a lot of just the excitement of filmmaking, and uh, and uh, yeah, and that we're gonna. Uh, I mentioned we're gonna have the the best of an awards show on uh, June nineteenth, and so it's the screenings of of uh, films selected by audiences and the judges as their favorites, and in addition to seeing all a bunch of you know good movies, it's about an hour and a half of uh, a lot of short films. And then there's live Q and A with the filmmakers afterwards. And I'm going to try to have a, a red carpet too, like a digital red Ooh, carpet. Nice. I, haven't figured, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. We'll, there's got to we'll be a way see. to do it on Zoom, right? There's got to be. be you can do everything on Zoom. You can do everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been living my life on Zoom for about a year, so oh. it's it's nice to be able to do a little filmmaking on Zoom too and have some fun with it. Absolutely. So uh, do people actually like do a, like a soundtrack, like some music in there? I mean, I know it's only oh, six yeah. minutes, but I mean, they, they must go all out. Oh yeah. One of the big, uh, one of the big uh, 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 categories is best song. And uh, the first year, well, so I, I mentioned that like I, I uh, used to participate as a team leader. And so I made a bunch of films and then uh, Ben Garaldi ran the Boston event for years and he just uh, had to stop because he left Boston and he couldn't commute and, and have a family at the same time. So uh, I took over in 2019 and and it's, it's daunting because there's a lot uh, going on when you're doing the live one. But I got through the live one and I was like, OK, I think I, I have the hang of this now. And then the next year, pandemic. <laughs> and so then <laughs> I had to start all over again and relearn the whole thing about like, okay, well, how do you do a film festival in a pandemic? And so then this year uh, we have the uh, the pandemic again. But this year I sort of knew what I was doing. And then next year we're going to go back to live again. And so one of the things that uh, I've been wanting to do since the beginning was have a band, you know, a live band playing all the best song nominees. But oh, wow. Uh, this, this year, I might just sing them. <laughs> but <laughs> next year, maybe a band. We'll see. This year, you'll sing them. Next year will be the blooper highlights of you singing all those songs. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so people people actually write original songs for these movies? Amazing. I mean, th- see, one of the things that's great about uh, the Boston 48-Hour Film Project is that I mean, everybody's like constantly, uh, especially now saying like, oh my God, I've gone through everything on Netflix. What, what can I watch? And and when you watch the 48 hour film project, you realize like we're surrounded 
by talented people. You know, it's not does not all the good movies and music and acting and directing and writing comes out of LA or New York. You know, there's just a lot of good stuff. And I'm amazed by the songs that, uh, and the soundtrack songs that, uh, you know, that, that uh, get made for this as well as like the special effects and everything else. 48 hours. <laughs> 48 hours we have we have wow. uh we have this year we have puppets uh we have animation i mean it's amazing what people can uh, do when you just give up sleeping <laughs> <laughs> well unfortunately i uh, i don't know if i could give up sleeping but i i know there'd well, be a lot of a lot of caffeine involved for me to, <laughs> to do that yeah. overnight just tempor- uh, temporarily giving up sleeping yeah. it's fine and when, and when you get a group of people too, they they sort of prod and push each other, and you get a lot of you know. All right, come on, wake up, wake up, come on, we got to get this done. We only have like three more hours left to go. Come on, let's get this last piece edited. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's like you know, it's like like I said, it does feel like a reality show. I mean, you know, you watch Survivor; those people they don't sleep for a month. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's they're going for a million dollar prize, so our prizes aren't that big. So we only have you you know stay awake for forty eight hours, but. Wow, oh, that's 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 interesting. That's really cool. I I never knew about this. I I think it's an awesome idea. You know, people looking for creative outlets, looking to you know practice and get better at their art, and just coming together and doing something so quick. I mean, that that is phenomenal. That I, I want to see some of these. Well, <laughs> I like definitely want to like see said, them. Yeah, I mean, you can see the uh, uh, this year's movies. Uh, I think uh, we wound up with about forty four total um down from when we were live we had like 60 plus teams and so we uh boston's a pretty tight uh filmmaking community so we held on to a lot of people even through the pandemic uh and next year we're looking forward to coming back you know even bigger in in uh and live and so there is if you just google boston 48 hour film project or if you just look up 48 hour film project that will give you uh tell you where all the cities are that do it because if you missed the Boston event this year, you can still see the screenings June nineteenth. Uh, but you could New Haven is going to be doing one, and Providence I think is doing one. So if you want to travel an hour south, you can still do some forty eight hour filmmaking uh, in in uh, New England this year. That is great. That is great, and with the hopefully the not the end, but the slowing down of the pandemic and hopefully yeah. ending i mean we'll be able to get a chance to actually have more in-person stuff which i think is what people really want to see you don't have to worry about a virtual red carpet you can actually have a red carpet an actual red carpet yeah i mean i get <laughs> i don't know where i'm going to find the red carpet but uh, you know because it's always you know the thing about 48 hour film uh project you know whether it's me producing it or the teams making it it's all about just scrambling to find what you need so you know next year i'll scramble and i'll find a red carpet while everybody else is scrambling to find their soundtrack musicians and their special effects and their costumes uh and and all that yeah it's, it's a scavenger hunt it really Basically. is I mean, that's, yeah. that's part of it it's 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 all uh you know uh you know like i had my uh my dad one time uh i well my parents agreed to let me shoot one of my 48 hour films at their house because they had a big yard and uh, I was working with a uh, uh, South Shore uh, Drama Club. And so all these kids showed up at my parents' house, but then one of the actors didn't show up who was going to play the Grim Reaper. So my dad's sitting and reading the paper, eating breakfast. And I say, all right, my dad's the Grim Reaper. And so all these kids swarm him and start smearing white makeup on him. And he just sighs <laughs> and he's like, well, that's the 48 hour film project. So. <laughs> That is that is so cool. That is so cool. I can I can just imagine. I, I I like I said. I want to see these. I I am enthralled now. You've got me really interested in this, because um I, I as a matter of fact, I mean, jury love, Fox jury love, access one juries. Our, one of our competitors. In fact, this is um from our group C screenings. Uh, these are clips from some of the movies, and I don't think I don't think in this frame you can see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure if <laughs> one of her movies. No, I, I think her yeah. movie is just out of frame. But yep, right. she uh, and and uh, uh, she competed. I think this is her second year, and I believe last year she won the uh, Women in Film uh, Award uh, or Women in the Forty Eight Award because, in addition to all the other prizes, Women in Film and Video New England also sponsors a prize um, for the best uh, women 
uh, behind the scenes crew members and whatnot, uh, directors, editors, and everything else in the 48-hour film project. So that's another prize that will be given away on June 19th after the screenings. Well, it's not not a surprise that she won. She does no, a little no, bit of everything and that. then some. <laughs> speaking of, and I think I think she uh, said that she was uh, composing music, uh, original music for her movie this year. Uh, so uh, over the weekend, and it's packed with music. So uh, probably we'll see. She she might be up for some of those music awards as well. So so when you find so when do you find out? Is it like a certain time, like the beginning? That's when you find out. Okay, this is your this is your line of dialogue. This is your prop. This is your you know, and it's like all right, go. Is that, is that it? <laughs> yeah, basically. Like a, like uh, a because, marathon, like go. <laughs> well, because like on the Friday night uh, uh, this year, we had sort of forty eight uh, Texas forty eight Hold'em, where uh, the virtual teams, you know, were in a Zoom meeting and they would just pick. Uh, a playing card and then that would have their genre so everybody gets their genre but everybody's waiting for the last like five minutes where they get the elements and as soon you got people on the phone waiting to like call their teams because as soon as they get the elements they can start and it really is like uh firing off the starter pistol for the weekend once they have that last element they they it's go 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 for the next 48 hours yeah oh that's great that's crazy (laughs) <laughs> it is crazy. It's, it's like the amazing race, but with movie cameras or, yeah. or video cameras. And that's the thing too, uh, that I like to always stress is that, you know, there are people who, you know, have a crew, they have like, you know, equipment and boom mics, but we also have uh, somebody who, you know, more than one person who made uh, their entire film just on their iPhone, you know? So you have people who are very experienced. We have, uh, we're going to be uh, uh, part of the award ceremony this year is that, in honor of the 20th anniversary of the 48 hour film project, we're, we're, I'm starting the, uh, the uh, Boston 48 hour film project hall of fame for teams that have been doing it like for, you know, almost 15 years or, or, or more who've done dozens of films uh, since the start of Boston, they've done other associated ones. So we're going to start, you know, those, those, uh, those veteran filmmakers, we're going to start sort of honoring them. But every year you have brand new uh, uh, filmmakers, you know, first time filmmakers, uh, first time they're doing it. And everybody has a shot at, uh, at uh, getting the prizes and winning. And even if you don't win any prizes, People see your movie and, and you know, uh, uh, you know, I I only got in the best of once when I was a team member. But every year I just loved hearing an audience react to my movie, you know, that I thought up just 48 hours earlier. So, yeah, it's a sense of accomplishment to see it, see it up on the big screen. Oh, I mean, it's great. It's great because there's no better way to like learn filmmaking than to make something and then see it with an audience and see how they react how did it work did they laugh in the right places or uh you know are they enjoying it and that is a great feeling and and with technology today i know you mentioned about the iphone i've actually edited a video on my samsung galaxy or whatever and it's amazing the tools you have today to do that where I remember when I went to broadcasting school and you had to edit it on the big machines and stop the frame. And now with, you know, pro tools and things like that, you can, you can do anything, anything yeah, I, that Hollywood could do pretty much. <laughs> I did a, I did a 16 millimeter feature back in the prehistoric days where you're actually cutting the film. And I'm just, uh, it's such a relief to just be able to do it all digitally. Now you can do so much more uh, creative stuff. Yeah. yeah I don't, and I don't, I don't, it, I don't miss just, Get it out onto the web and everyone in the world can see your movie, you know? Yeah, I don't miss the cutting and splicing of audio tape. I don't miss that at all. No, no. All the little <laughs> all the little cuts on your fingers. And yes. That, yeah. Not good. Not good. <laughs> now, now maybe you get like, I don't know, maybe you get like a, uh, arthritis in your finger from pushing all the buttons on your phone maybe, but yeah. You know. Yeah, a little, a little carpal tunnel. You know, but that's okay. a little sleep deprivation. You know, you got to suffer a little bit for art. You have to suffer for your <laughs> art. Exactly. <laughs> but not too much. And then you enjoy it. That's so that's the nice payoff after the suffering. Absolutely. So, Andrew, so tell tell everybody out there how they can get involved in this, because I'm sure there are people that are going to be seeing this saying, hey, I want to do that. That sounds yeah. like fun. Well, you know, so the easiest, well, so you can write to me at uh, Boston at 48 hourfilmcom there's uh we have a Twitter. I think it's boy, it's at well, if you look up 
Boston 48 Hour Film Project. It's on Twitter. It's on Facebook. Um, we have a networking group on Facebook as well if you want to meet other filmmakers. Because every year we have people who, uh, you know, if you don't want to have your own team, you can join a team. Uh, and, and you know, whether you're an actor or a writer or an editor, you can just join a team that that's already done it. Kind of learn the ropes and then maybe do your own team the next year. Um, there's a website, uh, that you can go, if you Google, uh, Boston 48 hour film project. And of course, to see our, uh, best of films from 2021, the, uh, long website again is 2021 Boston 48 hour film project.com. That is a long website name. <laughs> yeah. But you know, all you have to do is just remember that it's the 2021 Boston 48 hour film project. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm double checking to make sure that's actually the website. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's it. All right. And you'll once see, again, you'll see this logo, so you'll know you're in the right place. Exactly. So um once again, is it June nineteenth? June nineteenth at seven PM. That's when the awards are taking place. Yes, yes. And there may be a digital red carpet before that, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed on the red carpet, right? Fingers crossed on the digital red carpet, yes. <laughs> oh. And of course, uh, fingers crossed on me singing all the best uh, songs of the year. Oh, I mean, that's right. worth the price of admission. That's worth the right price there. of admission right there, right? <laughs> right? That, I yeah, I, I like, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't wait to see the blooper reel, as I said before. Uh, exactly. Because that'll, that'll happen. That'll show up in somebody's film, probably, somewhere in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I actually uh, somebody put me uh, put. Uh, there's a little cameo of me in one of the movies, actually. Ah, nice. Somebody put me on a coffee mug because a coffee mug was this year's prop that everybody had to use. So my wife was keeping track of every movie that had a broken coffee mug, and there might be a little montage of broken coffee mugs as well. <laughs> That's too funny. Well, Andrew, thank, thanks for joining us. And uh, I'm, this is so cool. I, I didn't know about it and I'm glad it, I do. And everybody else knows about the 48 hour film project. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh yeah. I hope to see you maybe at a screening and who knows, maybe you'll have your own team next year and you'll be at that starting line uh, at 7 PM waiting for the starter gun to go off uh, so that you can uh, make a movie in 48 hours. Well, well, if I don't have a team, I'll definitely want to be on one. So yeah, if anybody yeah. out there wants to start a team, just reach you know me at FCA. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All Great. right. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Andrew Osborne, thank you very much for joining us. And that'll do it for Around Foxborough. Have yourself a great day. Bye.